friends my name is dr vandana ramanathan and i am a consultant fertility specialist at garbagudi ivf center bangalore today i am going to be speaking on the role of hysteroscopy in ivf so first and foremost what is hysteroscopy so the name hysteroscopy itself is self explanatory hystero is uterus and scopy is viewing so hysteroscopy per se is a procedure where we view inside the uterine cavity to see if the cavity is adequate for carrying a baby to see if the lining is healthy and if there are any issues to correct it in the same setting so who needs hysteroscopy so many a times there is a belief that every patient who undergoes ivf has to have hysteroscopy or every patient suffering from infertility is subjected to this procedure so this is not true the reason why we do hysteroscopy varies and not everybody requires hysteroscopy so who are the patients who actually require hysteroscopy so when a patient comes to us with infertility what we do is first we do something called an ultrasound scan now in ultrasound scan also there is an advanced scanning where we do a 3d ultrasound scan in this 3d ultrasound scan we can ascertain the endometrium whether it's uh, the thickness is good we can ascertain whether there are any polyps within the cavity whether there are fibroids whether there are adhesions or any septums these can be diagnosed many a times on ultrasound so if we feel during the scan that the patient has a very thin lining or the lining is too thick or there are any issues which i mentioned earlier like fibroids polyps adhesions or septums these patients definitely require hysteroscopy which other patients require hysteroscopy so patients who have had repeated implantation failures patients who have had repeated ivf failures patients who have any past history of infection especially genital or abdominal tuberculosis because tuberculosis especially genital or abdominal genital tuberculosis can affect the endometrial lining and these patients many a times will have very thin and pale endometrium which is not good for implantation so these are the patients in whom we actually consider hysteroscopy before doing a embryo transfer so how is this procedure done now a hysteroscopy procedure is done under anesthesia so what we do in this is uh, on the day of the procedure the patient gets admitted in the morning most of the times this is a day care procedure so admission will be in the morning uh, the patient uh, will undergo the hysteroscopy procedure under anesthesia so after anesthesia to complete the hysteroscopy procedure if it's a diagnostic procedure hysteroscopy where we just put the camera inside and uh, we uh, assess the uterine cavity assess the endometrial lining and if everything is good we just take out the camera and the procedure is done this is called diagnostic hysteroscopy it will not take more than 10 to 15 minutes to complete if it is an operative hysteroscopy in operative hysteroscopy what we do is same thing we put a camera inside supposing we find adhesions or we find polyps or a septum then this has to be corrected in the same setting so that is called operative hysteroscopy so in operative hysteroscopy we will uh, correct whatever problems are there in the uterine cavity in the same setting this should take maybe around 30 to 40 minutes not more than that so once the hysteroscopy procedure is completed the patient is brought out to the recovery room patient is usually kept for uh, observation in the recovery room for 3 to 4 hours now why do why we do this is because it's done under anesthesia so we wait for the anesthesia effect to wane off once the anesthesia effect is gone patient is started on uh, oral uh, diet patient is told to go and pass urine so if she is comfortable with her oral diet and if she is able to pass urine freely we can discharge the patient after that usually after going home the patient does not require bed rest she can uh, continue her routine maybe just take rest for a couple of days and get back to her normal activities this is how the procedure of hysteroscopy is done so like i told you hysteroscopy is done on a patient to patient we have to individualize the case and then decide on hysteroscopy so these are the uh, the causes that i mentioned earlier these are the reasons why we will think of doing a hysteroscopy during ivf procedure now what are the benefits of hysteroscopy like i mentioned when we find any abnormality in the uterine cavity we can correct it in the same setting and after this many a times the patient uh, you know once we identify the cause of uh, the problem in the lining and we are able to treat it the patient will definitely have better success rates during embryo transfer 
So when we do the hysteroscopy, we also take biopsy of the lining, which we will send for genital uh, testing for uh, tuberculosis infection and for any hormonal imbalance. So if any infection has been detected, then we can treat it completely and then plan the embryo transfer. If there's a hormonal imbalance, we can again treat it and then plan embryo transfer after that. This will improve the success rates of embryo transfer. So I hope that uh, you have got a good understanding now of why uh, we do hysteroscopy during IVF, which are the patients who actually require it. Also, the, that be reassured that not every patient has to undergo this procedure. It will be decided by your fertility specialist. So you can always ask them if you have been suggested a hysteroscopy. They will definitely be able to give you an answer as to why they are doing it. So I hope uh, that uh, this has helped you. If so, please do like, share and subscribe to our channel. Thank you very much.